Well, thank you all for allowing us to chat with you today about this incredible movie set right here in Durham, North Carolina, near and dear to my heart as a Durham girl. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about how important this movie is right now in 2019 in the United States of America. With everything that is happening in our country, the climate, uh, the emotion, why is this movie so important right now? We talk about this all the time. We didn't plan for it to be this important. Um, and it actually is a little sad that it's this important. It's very sad that it's mm -hmm. this important. But it is, and we're hoping that it makes a difference, a big difference, and provides hope for people and maybe a roadmap. Um, you know, if Ann Atwater can break through this man's heart, um, pretty unbelievable. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, we just love we just love the fact that at this moment we can say, hey, everybody, take a breath. Look at, look at what this woman was able to do. She went for the, for the pinnacle of the opposite side of who she was and was able to reach in and make him pay attention. And actually, she changed his life, changed the, 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 the lives of people in Durham mm -hmm. and really brought hope, I think, to every one of us that change is possible and actually made his life a little better. The most unlikely change, mm -hmm. because going into the movie, I was thinking, "There's no, this is never going to happen." <laughs> I, I walked out. I said, "This was the most unlikely uh, change I've ever seen happen." Ever. <laughs> so, Taraji, when you were presented with this project, mm -hmm. uh, what what were your thoughts about playing this woman that was able to change the mind of a Klansman? Well, I got the script. Uh, I had it for a minute because um, Danny Strong, co-creator and um, producer of Empire, gave it to me when we shot the pilot. And then we got busy. And then 2016 happened. Mm -hmm. And things started to look very different here in this country. And I said, wow. I called Danny and I was like, we have to make this movie and we have to make it now. He was like, but you have a movie. You're doing a movie. I said, I don't care. <laughs> I will do two <laughs> movies on my hiatus. This movie yeah. is very important. Right. And, um, and so we did it. And it's a living testimony of, um, you know, we always throw this hashtag around this phrase, love wins, love always wins, and it's the truth. Mm -hmm. Because if hate ever wins, it will be the end of humanity as we know it. Hate's objective is to destroy mm -hmm. and kill, right? And love is life. You make love, you have a baby. You give mm -hmm. life through love, right? And love really wins. That's mm -hmm. the, the, the most, that's the greatest gift God gave us, mm -hmm. the power of love, and it is so free. Yeah. It's absolutely free. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. While I was watching this movie, I wondered, putting myself in the role mm -hmm. of Ann Atwater, could I have made the decisions that she made? <laughs> could I have done the things that she did? While you were playing that role, could you look and say, oh, I totally would have done it exactly like this? Yes, I would have. I wouldn't have. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the pop off. I, I, I'm tweet. I can't, you know. Eh. But. If you can, if you call yourself a Christian, mm. right, 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 it should be and easy. You, mm. that's that's your job as a Christian, right. And, I, and what we're seeing a lot now, we see a lot of people. I'm a Christian, but are you really? <laughs> right. Are you loving unconditionally? Right. Are you all inclusive with your love? Right. Because if you're following the Bible, the Quran, I don't care what b religious background you come from, they it's the same message. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I think that's what made Anne in this particular time period especially special because it's not her job right I mean Anne was a, a, a catalyst for change mm -hmm. she was selfless she was dogged about helping underprivileged people all around Durham for years and years and years it's not her job to change a, a hateful man's heart right right, right. Um, and and she was you know she was pretty she was bold you know and so uh, for her to say okay I'm gonna let my wall down mm. And I'm going to do this because I do see a way. I see him at least as a human being, and I know the way in. Um, and that was really selfless of her to do mm -hmm. because she didn't have to. You talk about the high road. She took the high road. And she also knew it was important for schools and children and the whole community. So Somebody had them. to rise above yeah, it. That's right. yeah. <laughs> and taking the high road is never easy. Never. No. There are no parades for people who take the high road. No. There's mm -hmm. no crown. There's no, no confetti. Yeah. 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 Um, as a Durham girl, mm -hmm. uh, raised in the area, nice. when we first heard about this movie coming uh, coming out, and I think uh, one of the local TV stations did a story about the Durham movie that wasn't <laughs> shot in Durham. Uh, oh! <laughs> 
Wow. <laughs> because we have so many people in the area yeah. who know and love Durham and have grown up around this incredible city, mm-hmm. what do you say, let, let's break down the explanation as to why the Durham movie wasn't shot in Durham. Well, so the answer is pretty simple. Tax break. Yeah, that's right. That, that's what <laughs> you know it is. What? At the end of the day, you know, we fi- we financed the film. We we looked at Dorm, and I think yeah. it was right at the time that they took away the tax incentive, and yeah. so it's like you're leaving thirty percent of the budget on the table. Yeah, so I mean, so we wanted to. Yeah, shoot that's here. right. We did um, to make the movie look good. Mm-hmm. You need money. Right. So you're looking for breaks, because yeah. and this is an independent film. Yeah. This wasn't yeah. a big budget, film, right. yeah. so you know. Yeah. So when you know when I remember when we shot Hunger Games here in 2012, mm-hmm. it, the the tax break was great. I mean, yeah. it was amazing, um, and then it became uh, a grant system, and so you know you're talking about it being two to three million dollars cheaper to shoot it in Atlanta, and they have a big crew base now. Talking about a hundred million dollar movie, you can make that argument. No, I want to shoot it in Durham, right? Because right. right. the places still exist, and everyone would mm-hmm. be so behind it. Mm-hmm. Um, but when you're talking about a ten, thirteen, ten million dollar movie, that's a big percentage yeah. to be able to save that kind of money. And you just can't. At a certain point, you can't argue mm-hmm. because we just want to tell the story, yeah. right? And if so, they say, look, you got it. And and Atlanta was wonderful for us. Mm-hmm. Of course, we wanted to shoot it here. Yeah, we but, wanted to. But <laughs> you know, the movie's better for it not having shot here because we had more resources. We yeah, really absolutely. did. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. Well, that's that's my time. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Chad.